Hi guys! You may have noticed that I have been going for a more natural and sheer looking base lately and that's because I kind of like that it's not perfect. I like the that it is a little bit uneven and freckles and maybe some scars showing. It gives a more interesting look to the face and today I'm gonna show you how to do it. So keep watching. First thing I'm gonna do is to use the Protect Face Primer from Isadora and it's a little bit tinted so you get a little kind of nice tone to your face. It's not much but it's just a little bit and it contains SPF 30, that's really good. And after the primer, I am using my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in medium to cover some red spots, dark circles and that stuff. Things you want to cover. Red spots gone. Next step is um, a light powder foundation. I'm using Vita Lumiere Loose Powder Foundation from Chanel. I think this is a perfect powder to use when you want this sheer, very natural looking base. It's kind of expensive, but this is actually worth it because it's really, really good and stays on all day. Makes your pores appear smaller and gives a little bit of luster to your face too. I'm just using a little bit to eliminate the shine in my face and I want the skin to shine through. This is the kind of powder that you can build up to get more coverage if you want to if you want more coverage on your nose or on your cheek or something. But I think this is enough. Just one a little bit. So you can still see my skin through. My natural freckles shines through. And now I'm actually gonna paint on some fake freckles to make this look even more um, natural and sheer. So I'm using um, a cool eyeliner from Motives Cosmetics called Earth. You can use a lot of just brown or top eye pencils or eyeliners if you want to, just to create this little freckles on your face. And I think that freckles makes your face look very fresh and summery. I'm basically just... I make some dots where freckles naturally appear like on the nose, on your cheeks, and then on your forehead, some on your upper lip. And when I'm done with the freckles, I am gonna continue with some contouring and some blush. And then I'm using the Face Sculptor from Isadora. And this is not a sponsored video, I just happen to use a lot of Isadora products in it. Um, I am think I'm gonna use this color. It's a bronzer, basically. So I'm using the same brush to just contour my cheekbones a little bit, my temples, a 
the forehead and then under my cheek. And don't forget the neck because it looks funny if you you're having makeup on your face but not on your neck. Okay, let's go for some blush. And I'm using Hot Mama from The Ball. And I am using, well, another blush brush. Looks like this. It's almost the same color as Orgasm from NARS, but it's, this is cheaper, so it's a good dupe. And this is a golden peachy blush that looks very fresh on the face, on the cheeks. Gives a natural highlight as well, so you don't need to highlight your cheeks if you don't, cheekbones if you don't want to. Okay, like this. And that's about it I think I'm done so basically what you need to do this natural sheer looking base is um, concealer and you need a loose powder that's not too um, gives too much coverage and a blush um, some kind of contour palette and a brown eye pencil for freckles and you don't need to paint the freckles on if you don't want to but it gives a nice touch I think and a lot of freshness to the face um, I hope you like this and don't forget to subscribe and I see you next week bye